Welcome back. Approximately 39 million Americans suffer from migraines, while more than 45 million experience chronic headaches. June is National Migraine and Headache Awareness Month to, of course, bring awareness and educate people. And joining us now on the 4 o'clock show, Memorial Health System neurologist Dr. Chelsea Grow to discuss headache triggers and treatment options. Uh, Dr. Grow, thank you so much for joining us. Good to have you on the show today. And this is a problem that, that affects, obviously, a lot of people, headaches and migraines. Migraines are probably the most debilitating, right? That's right. Migraines are actually a distinct type of headache, and headaches are very common, but migraine specifically is defined by the severity of it. It is often disabling, it interferes with daily functions. Uh, a lot of times people miss social activities, time with friends, family, um, job, because of the severity of the migraine. So it is so important for patients to understand that not all headaches are just something that they have to manage or deal with with over-the-counter medicines. If they do seek medical attention and do see a headache specialist, we will help define the headache subtype and define if it is migraine, and specifically chronic migraine, which is a very specific neurobiologic uh, type of headache that has very specific treatments. It is 15 headache days per month with a history of eight migraines, which are often one-sided throbbing head pain, nausea, light sensitivity, and they're worse with activity and exertion, which is why uh, a lot of people have to be still in a dark room. Right. So it's important to get that diagnosis. Sure, and and that's important because then you know how to treat it. I mean, it, it could be a tension right. headache. There are a variety of different types of headaches. It could be, and a lot of people may just think when they have a severe headache that it's always a migraine. Right, yes, migraine is very specific. So once we diagnose that it is migraine and not just a tension type headache. There are two ways we treat it. One is preventatives, which is the key. And in the last few years, there's new uh, medical breakthroughs that we have now for chronic migraine specifically. And the two biggest categories that we have would be Botox for chronic migraine and the CGRP receptor blockers, which are the biggest breakthroughs that we have to prevent migraine, which is really what we're trying to do. Cut down the number of headache days per month, and then, you know, it'd be great if we could eliminate them completely, but, sure. you know, there still might be breakthrough headaches, but we really want to cut back on the number of headaches and the severity of headaches. Right, we're looking really at it. We're looking at a few of the yeah. things on the list right now, the pain relievers, right. uh, prescription medications, uh, interventions, uh, lifestyle modifications, and the time we have left, what might that include? The basics, um, sleep. Sleep is so important to everything, but especially for headaches. So making sure you have a routine sleep schedule, getting enough sleep, make sure you're hydrating, have a healthy um, you know, diet, nutrition, exercise, all those factors for overall good health will make an impact on headaches as uh well. All right, um, neurologist Dr. Chelsea Grow from Memorial Hospital. We've just touched the surface here today. We appreciate you joining us during this Migraine and Headache Awareness Month. Thank you.